everyone and welcome back, Dom here and this is going to be a really special video my friends because in this video I'm going to show you my brand new instrument Claps Volt Pop which is the follow up of the modern 80s drum kit. Actually, I released this instrument a couple of weeks ago quietly for the subscribers of my mailing list. If you haven't subscribed to my mailing list, maybe you wanna do it because you might get some little gifts like this. But since I released it, quite a few of you got in touch with me and said, hey Dom, will you make a video for the Claps Vault Pop? This is really good, will you show us how to use it? So I thought instead of creating a boring manual, I might as well show you how it works how you can use it and why I created it. So let's get started right after this. So the reason why I created Claps Vault Pop like with the modern 80s drum kit is because I use it. I'm producing music every day. I need sounds that I can tweak and morph them and make them work with my track. So this is why I created Claps Vault so that I can take control of all the samples that I've designed over the years and this is exactly what it is. So basically Claps Vault is a collection of claps that I've created using analog drum machines, synthesizers. I recorded natural claps and everything, so they're all hybrid sounds. I layered them, I did quite a bit of sound design, and when you get Claps Vault, you also get a folder of all the samples that I have created. And in my opinion, these are really good claps, but you will be the judge of that. But the most important and the most fun thing that you get with Claps Vault is the actual instrument, the Highland Sonic SC instrument. And stick around until the end of the video because I'm going to let you know how you can get yourself a free copy of Claps Vault Pop. I'm going to give away free copies of Claps Vault Pop to five of you completely free. Now let me play Claps Vault in a musical context. I have this track here and I have Claps Vault. I have the Modern 80s drum kit that actually works really nice with Claps Vault. I've designed them so that they work great together. And I actually have a bundle if you want to get the Modern 80s drum kit and the Claps Vault. Then I have a synth bass from Retrolog and two sounds from Apollo, my library for Pad Shop 2. Okay, so these brass sounds come from Apollo. Let's have a listen. Okay, let's try and play with the controls now. Wideness. Vintage. Space. Okay, and now in the mix. So, you know, I can get all these different sounds and I can listen. I don't have to worry about opening plugins and all these things. I can just listen, play with the sources and see what works with 
this specific track. Hylion Sonic SE, as you know, is completely free. It's a product from Steinberg, so this runs the library inside it. So I would suggest that you try it first and then installing the Claps Vault is literally two clicks away. I have all the information in the zip file when you get Claps Vault. Now, this is how it looks like. This is the interface and I'm going to show you how you can use this to your advantage because one of the things that I wanted to do with this instrument is to give you all the controls, all the sources that I use to make my claps sit well in a mix because that's the most important thing. There are many claps out there but you add them to a track, they don't work or you need to add like tons of plugins to make it sound good. Well, this alleviates this problem. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to play some of the samples. So as you can see, I can just trigger them on my keyboard. Anyway, tons of samples. I mean, feel free <laughs> to check them out. But, you know, I'm going to start with the very first sample, which is this one, right? In the very first key. And I'm going to show you all the controls that we have. First of all, we have the punch control. This basically does what it says on the tin. It adds punch to your claps. So let's say this clap sounds fine on its own, but in a mix, you might need a little bit more oomph, okay? Then you can add the punch. and it will give you a nice attack. Or the other way around, maybe you have another clap or a snap that has a lot of attack and you don't want to mask it with your claps. So you can turn down the punch. Okay, same goes for this control, soften. This is even more drastic. So if you just want to have, let's say, the tail of a clap, you can still do this with a soften. So this is very, very important, especially when you're producing pop music or like really modern music and you have many different elements. If you have too many elements that have a very snappy attack, that might not work. So Claps Vault gives you this option to just shave off the attack or add punch. Now, the next control, which is one of my favorites, is tightness. And this is something that I always want to have control of when I'm working with claps, snares, and so on and so forth. Because I might want to make this clap a little bit more open with a little bit more sustain. So I can make this super long, or I might want to make it super tight. Again, I'm using the same sample here, just so you can see how many different flavors you can get just from one sample. Then we have the smack control, which basically adds some nice compression. It's quite different to the punch, but it gives you a very nice and in-your-face sound for your claps. Okay, again, same sounds, exactly the same sounds. Now, next we have these controls here, and these work in tandem with each other. So Magic gives you a nice airy open sound for your claps. It adds a little bit of sparkle. Let me show you. And this works along with the sweet spot, okay? So now if I change the sweet spot, So this adds a little bit of excitement. This is not what an EQ does. It's not an EQ. It gives you a very, very different sound compared to an EQ. I didn't bother using an EQ in the interface because I know that everybody has an EQ. So if you want to add some top end, this is fine. But this will give you a very, very different sound. And the great thing is, depending on your track, the sweet spot might be in a different position. So for the same sample, you might need to set a different sweet spot and a different amount of magic to do this. Now, the other control is thump. Now, this is great if you have something like a clap, like this one, for example, okay? Let's try. See? And maybe you want to add a little bit of thump to it. Hear that? 
So this adds a nice attack in the low mid. It adds a nice thump. That's why I called it this way. This is great if you have... See? So depending on the clap, you might want to use it or not. It's there though, so you can do all these things. Now let's try something else. Let's try this section, and this is where things get really interesting. This is the space control. So this is a reverb that has warp. You can change the size, you can change the delay. So let's try this. Let's add some warp. Let's remove the warp. And then we have the size. So maybe I want to have a small room. Still the same clap, right? Now, that's exactly the reason why I created this instrument, so that I have all the controls at my fingertips, I don't have to open like a million plugins in order to just get a good clap sound. Time matters, you know, you don't want to spend too much time for simple tasks like this. And let's add the space delay. I love this. And we can also change the width of the reverb. So we have all the sources right there ready to go. You don't need to activate anything. And we also have a nice volume control in case you go too hot in terms of volume. Then we have some quick controls here. Now this is the tune control. That's a normal tune control. I just wanted to include this because sometimes it's useful. You might want just a little bit of a higher pitch in your claps. Then I have the snap control that adds a little bit of a pitch attack or again you can create some really interesting sounds with it I have a filter cut off so if you want to filter your claps you can do this then I have a degrade control this will give you like an 8-bit kind of low resolution sound then a very cool one the wideness so you can make your claps really really wide but it's there and you can automate it you don't have to have your claps wide all the way out you might want to go you know just automate it then I have a very important control for me which is the pitch variation so basically if you turn this up it will start giving you some pitch variation for your claps, which is great, it gives you a very organic sound. If you go all the way up, it's going to be exaggerated, but I always add a little bit of it. Then the next is the vintage control, and this recreates the sound of vintage drum machines. Okay, let's have a listen. So you have to turn it all the way up. So it makes the sound a little bit more grainy, a little bit more vintage. And then I showed you soften already. So this will shave off a little bit of the attack so that you have more space for this for other elements in your mix. For Claps Vault, I have already created some presets that you can try out. For example, if you go to your Claps Vault library here, you will find all the presets. So this is the initial one, Ignite. aged analog I'm playing the same samples all the time right so you can understand how much variety you can get out of all the different sources and wobbly this is all done with the controls that you have so these are just starting points I like this the air bursts You know? Now, let's go for another track. This is a trap track, completely, completely different. Again, I have a couple of sounds from Apollo for Pat Shop, but let's listen to the Claps Vault. So, the Claps Vault in this case gives me the groove. 
See, it has this space delay here that goes like pow, pow, pow. Let's remove it. Let's try the wideness. So this is the Claps Vault. I tried to show you two different examples, but of course it works with pretty much everything. I use it mainly is for modern music, pop music, synth wave, all these things, but I also use it for trap. Maybe at some point I'm going to have another library that's kind of more specific to all these different genres, but I think that this will give you a very, very wide collection of claps for pretty much every genre. That's why I called it pop because it's the most universal term, I think. This will work for house music, it will work for electronic music, for EDM, you name it. I try to have as much variety as possible in the samples. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you enjoyed Claps Fault. I'm trying to make all my instruments very affordable for pretty much everyone, so I hope that you enjoy this, I hope you have loads of fun. I'm looking forward to hear what you're gonna create with it. And now for the giveaway, I'm going to give away five copies of of Claps Vault for free. To five of you that follow me on Instagram, please comment on this post and let me know what you would use Claps Vault for and then I'm going to randomly pick five of you to get a free copy of Claps Vault. So I hope you enjoy this, I hope you enjoy the instrument, have loads of fun with it, thank you so much for watching, subscribe, like, all the good stuff and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.